Hello, and welcome to the 10th and final episode where I'm restoring my family's Potentium Ebner Model 99B. Well, she's all done now. The only thing that's really missing are the speakers, but I'm not going to waste money trying to find a pair of those. Now, all I have to do is press the button and listen to the music. Of course I could let this run to the end, but then no one would hear it. No doubt the U2 music police will be right down my throat, banning this video forever. So I'll just cut in now, hopefully I won't get that to happen. It's been quite the learning experience for me, this particular project. First I learned basically what unobtainium is, and how to obtain unobtainium. How not to get ripped off by eBay people. And how some people online are really good guys to deal with. I realized that old skills I had from many, many years ago could be reused finally. It really is a case in this hobby of if you can't find or buy the part, or can't afford it, just make it. Fortunately, the engineers who designed this turntable had the same philosophy, so it was actually quite simple to go in and fix everything up. The most important thing I took away was to take your time when rebuilding one of these. Had I just went in and batch changed all the capacitors on both sides at once, I would have been in real trouble. The way it was designed, I could do one side, and use the other as a template to put it back together. Another important part for me was just walking through the schematic and comparing that to how the amp was put together. I really learned about how valve amplifiers are put together, and what makes them tick. Of course, I had to do a lot of other reading, and I would take that reading and compare it to what I was working on. And then suddenly all these lights would click on my head, and I actually understood how the various components of the amplifier work together to create that lovely end result of music. If you asked me at the beginning of this project what a coupling capacitor was, I couldn't tell you. I couldn't tell you what a cathode resistor was either. But now I can. I'm not going to because the video is not going to be that long. I also learned a very good lesson on safety. Yo, there is power in there. Damn cap got me. <laughs> got that in video too. Now I always drain my caps. In the end, the project was a little expensive, but I take it in as a learning experience to get something that was in my family for many years working again. Now my daughter, who is in proud possession of it, will probably enjoy it for many years. So I think this project has confirmed to me that electronics is a good hobby for me. Hopefully there'll be many, many more projects to come. So thanks for watching, and don't forget to hit subscribe. Now let's just listen to a little more music, and hopefully I don't get banned. Riley, do you want to help me with my next project? Yes? No? You don't want to help me? No? Just gonna watch TV with Ludi? Oh, okay. What? Oh, you want food. That's what motivates you. I see.